squeak, squeak. It's a great start to the episode, man. It's like, this is how it starts. It's classic. I, uh, I finished reading. Um, I gained experience through writing books. I finished it, and I'm so mad. Because it's so good. It's, like, far and above the worst manhwa I have ever read and I've read some I've read a lot I've read a lot but it's so bad and I'm like it's it's got to be a parody it's it's got to be a parody it has to be it's so good it's so good at being bad I'm like there's no way somebody like writes this with the intention of it being like a serious thing like it's it's got to be a joke like it's just amazing it's so good i love it um all all i could think about it like the only the only way i can justify its existence is that it's uh, it's making fun of uh, of other manhwa along similar veins cuz it ju it just it hits on every possible note like everything that you've ever read in a Madwa and been like, wow, that's a little bit, like, weird and stupid. All of it! <laughs> it's all there! It's so good! It's, uh, it's so good. I love it. I love it so, so much. And it's over, and I've read it all, and I don't have any more to read, and I'm so sad, because I just, I want to keep reading it, because it's just, it's so good. But, we have to move on. Can't, uh... Can't read it forever, right? I wanna. I wanna read it forever, but I can't. I have to stop at some point. And, uh, and this was the stopping point, so... That's where I'm at. Gonna start reading something else. I'm thinking right now... I've got, I've got a list of, uh... Of manhwa to read. I'll, I'll read it off to you. I've got, um... 3CM Hunter, so 3 centimeter Hunter, I'm guessing. I have Cultivator Against Hero Society, Dark Mortal, God of Blackfield, uh, Kill the Hero, Medical Return, Promised Orchid, Raid. Um, yeah, that's 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 the list of uh, of Manwa on that list that I haven't already read. Of those, the one that sounds the best to me is probably Medical Return. Because it just sounds amazingly horrible. I love... One thing that I love about... Uh, is, is like a whole niche of genre, like... Trope, cliche, you know, whatever you want to call it. Of... Uh, of... of um, Korean and Chinese. Mostly Chinese. Um... Uh, like manga stuff, cartoons, things, you know? One thing that I love about it is, uh, the medical stuff. Because it's, when, like, when, when somebody who's, like, really good at medicine comes back to the real world and is, like, you know, <laughs> you're using all this, like, Oriental medicine kind of stuff. This, this, uh, you know, ancient, you know, stuff. And I'm like, you know, it's it's one thing to like go to the acupuncturist because you feel good about it and uh, and and you want to, right? That's that's one thing. You can justify that. Um, I don't, I don't think there's. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no actual scientific backing behind acupuncture. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, mumbo-jumbo. It, there, there, it doesn't accomplish anything, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, like, all of, like pretty much all of the, the oriental medicine is, 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 for the most part, just kind of, like, eh. There, there's, there's some aspects of it that are, like, you know, sure. Like, you know, they, they can probably you know, get some numbing herbs or something and, and spread it on the wound and, and make you feel like you're hurting less. 
You know, like like that's probably something that you could do. It is definitely something you can do. That's that's well up there. Um, you know, you can disinfect. You can there, there there there's of course lots of stuff that you can do without modern medicine. Absolutely, totally, totally, totally. Okay, that's not in question. But uh, specifically acupuncture, it's not really like a a huge like medical thing. It's 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 pretty much just to, to make you feel better mentally uh, because you went and did it. Um, um, but, you know, if, 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 if you want to and it makes you feel better, then, then by all means, there's nothing silly about that, you know, not nothing at all. But when, when you take it into the, 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 the world of Manwa, okay, it, it gets another step of ridiculous, okay, it, it goes beyond just like, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes you feel better to, um, you know, somebody's, like, literally their, their, like, its stomach is, like, the size of, like, three of them, like, just bloated as heck, and then somebody grabs a single needle and sticks it in them, and then blood just starts, like, spurting out everywhere, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, well, you're all good now, and their, like, stomach just kind of, like, goes back to normal, and they're like, you're all good. I'm like, yeah, no, this, this is next level ridiculous. This is obviously just, like, nonsensical. Um, and, uh, so what ends up happening is, is they come back with this, like, you know, ancient Chinese medicine knowledge with, uh, with all the, the herbs and, and pills and, and, uh, and, uh, like, acupuncture and the pressure points and all this kind of stuff, you know? Which, again, in, in the real world, there is at least some semblance of utility to them, right? So it's not like, you know, it's totally silly to, to get it, you know, for to make you feel better or something like that. It is totally silly to, to go and, like, see somebody because you have, like, a broken arm. You know, go go see an actual doctor. <laughs> just Just saying. Um, you're, you're gonna do a lot better if you go see a, a real doctor. Um, but for, for minor things, you know, I, I think that it's, it's fairly reasonable anyway. But, uh, it, it just, what happens is these people come back from, from, you know, ancient China, you know, like, thousand years ago or something, you know, and, uh, it's, it's like the same world, right? Like, it's the same world. Okay, it's it's this it's the same world, you know. They they come back, and and there's still traces of their existence from before, you know. Like like it's it's the same world, and it's demonstrably the same world, you know. Like the current time that they're living in is, you know, using what they learned in the past, which is from where they were, you know. Like that's that's kind of the the whole plot, and then somehow they're like. You know, starting up their own hospital and stuff, and using this like ancient Chinese medicine, and I'm um, to to like fix everything and everybody, and and there's all this like just nonsensical, just garbage that uh, that always ends up in the in the mix. It's uh, it's it's always the medical stuff that is like the biggest like power fantasy for for whatever reason um people who are good at medicine in in manwa when that's your thing that's the people that's the anybody who's gonna write about that is the kind of person who's like yeah they gotta be like the best the absolute best everybody else has to just completely pale in comparison nobody nobody else in the history of ever can even come close to matching half of this person's you know incredible medical knowledge and uh, it's just it's so good so i think i'm gonna read uh medical return because it's it's it sounds from the from the from the start like just an amazing manwa tree sounds terrible but that's the kind of stuff i like the worse it is the better it is in my opinion i like reading the stuff that's just absolute garbage I don't know. I just I get a good uh, I get a good sense of uh, 
of joy out of it, you know? I just, I, uh, I do. I love it. So that's what I'm probably going to end up reading next. I'll let you know if it's as bad as I hope it is. <laughs> it might be good, too, is the other thing. Because um, the, the, the other side of it is that um, a well-written medical... A, a well-written medical romance... Or medical romance? Medical manhwa is, like, leagues above anything else. You know? They, they There is no in-between. It's either, like... They know what they're talking about, and they actually write stuff that makes sense, or they don't know what they're talking about, and they just wanted to write a medical manhwa, and they have no clue what they're talking about, and it's just all nonsensical, just like throwing out words that sound smart. Um, there, there is no in between. It's, 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 it's a very binary thing. So, usually it's pretty bad, but uh, when they're good, they're really, really good. Um, can't think of any examples off the top of my head. Couldn't name them, um, unfortunately. But uh, I think Doctor Elise might have been one. That's mostly romance. I can't remember. It was either good or it was bad. But that's kind of the case with all of them. So it was it was a good manhwa. I just don't remember if the medical aspect of it was good. It was uh, again mostly focused on romance, um, and I enjoyed it. I think it's still ongoing. Can't remember. Um, uh, I'm thinking it was bad, actually. Yeah, I just I can't remember. It was a good manhwa. I recommend you read it if you if you like manhwa romance, because um, it, it was mostly romance. Just uh, I'm feeling generous. The the main character was also a doctor, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was heavy power fantasy, actually. Now, now I'm starting to remember bits of it, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember. Read it. Read it if you like it. It's a, it's, it's a, it gets a recommendation from me. I just don't remember if the medical aspect of it was like accurate or not. But it, again, it was mostly about the romance. So, whatever. That's going to do it for today. Like I said, it's going to be a shorter episode on this one, because uh, I don't have the time for two longer episodes. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe, comment, do all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.